In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to make your gaming PC that's probably sitting right next to you start making you money like right now. And the best part is it's not a scam, like at all. It's actually perfectly legit. Let's get into it. Hey, welcome to Zach's Tech Turf. Today I'm gonna to be showing you how I've been making a little bit of extra money with my extra gaming PCs down here in my studio, and I'm gonna show you how to set it up real quickly for yourselves as well. And if you're new here and you wanna see other PC hardware videos just like this one, then hit that subscribe button down below and also that notification bell. That way you never miss an episode. But yeah, uh, let's start making some money. Today's video is brought to you by Exter. Exter crafts ridiculously clean and minimal wallets and phone cases that not only look super professional, but are actually handcrafted from the highest quality genuine and leather available around the globe. The minimal front pocket wallet not only looks fancy and stylish, but it's also functional with the card release button, a strap for those of you still carrying around some cash, and if you pair it with one of their solar powered tracker cards, you never have to worry about losing it. Extra wallets and phone cases are the reason the term baller exists, and links to all of these products are down in the description. All right, so chances are if you've been in the PC hardware space for any decent amount of time, you probably already know what type of money making method this is, and that's lending your computer's processing power to a different company that will pay you for that power in a very rough nutshell. Yes, this is essentially GPU mining, but it's not all that super advanced and professional type stuff. This is actually just a super incredibly easy to use program called Salad, and it actually couldn't be any easier to get up and running. Salad.io is a piece of software that runs on Windows 7 or Windows 10, no Linux support right now, by the way, that uses your GPU's processing power to probably make themselves some form of cryptocurrency, but then they pay you in US dollars for your computer's hard work. You can set the program to only run when your computer is idle after a certain amount of minutes, that way it doesn't affect you when you're using it, and then once it starts up, it'll take your GPU to like 90 or 100% power and start cranking away. This GPU mining technique is not new at all anymore, some of us have been doing it in some form or fashion for the last couple of years now, but Salad just makes it stupid easy to set up, and then you can use that money to buy some pretty cool stuff. Taking a look at their store page, here you can see that with the money you earn from GPU mining, you can buy things like eBay gift cards, PC game keys, or even some PC hardware if you save up enough. One of our Discord members, RWC, you would know him if you're following me on Twitch, by the way, because I've been streaming on Twitch every Tuesday and Thursday at 8pm Eastern Time. He actually used it to buy a month of Discord Nitro and then boosted our Discord server pretty baller. Now for some other ways to earn, if you take a look at these screens here, these are called offer walls and essentially they pay you to download mobile apps, start free trial subscription to things and stuff like that. Over here on the referral page, you can see that you can actually gain money when you get others to sign up for salad and it even boosts the amount of money that they initially earn. I'll have my referral link down in the description. You might as well start with a link because it'll end up making you more money faster. And finally, the fourth way to make money is through salads discord events. They actually have a super active discord community where they host events and whatnot for people to score some extra loot. And even here on the Fresh Redemptions page, you can see every time someone cashes out their money and what they bought, it's pretty neat. Now that we know the four ways to earn, I want to dive a little bit deeper into the actual GPU mining side of things. I ran a ton of numbers and what it's going to come down to is how much you're paying for electricity costs, just like any other GPU mining adventure. Here you can see a chart showing an estimate of how much each GPU is making right now. I reached out to their Discord team and they said that they don't have a frequency that this is updated, but they do indeed update every time there's a major change in the markets. I actually started mining on two of my systems already, one with a 1080 Ti and the other with an RX 570, and they produce right around these same values. And the RX 570 actually made a few cents more per day, so they aren't trying to lure you in with fake numbers or anything. The first system that I really tested this with though was my old editing rig, which I have a dedicated video on. This system is currently rocking a Ryzen 7 2700X and a GTX 1080 Ti. In the course of 24 hours, this system currently makes 64 cents per day. Not a ton of money, but that can obviously add up over time. However, I used this TP-Link smart plug to monitor the wattage that it was drawing, and while mining, it was drawing around 268 watts of power. 268 watts at a full 24 hours a day equals 6.4 kilowatt hours, and since I pay around 12 cents per kilowatt hour, I'm paying 77 cents per day of electricity for this thing. Now, if my calculations are correct, which they are, by the way, that would mean that I'm losing 13 cents per day. This is very important to calculate, obviously, because maybe you're not paying nearly as much money for electricity as I am, 
or maybe even better, you're in a situation where you don't have to pay for electricity at all. Maybe you're like in a college dorm room or something, and then it's all 100% profit. Outside of my somewhat efficient 1080 Ti setup, I wanted to test something that was a bit more realistic for people watching my channel. This here is a $550 PC, which I actually also did a dedicated video on, and this one is rocking a Ryzen 5 1600 and an RX 570. This 570 is currently making me 41 cents per day, but I'm paying 64 cents per day in electricity. You may be noticing that this is even worse than the 1080 Ti system, and that's because of two things. First, Nvidia cards are typically more power efficient than AMD, and second is because I'm running a gold certified PSU in the 1080 Ti system, and only a white certified PSU in the 570 system. This would mean that if you're running a terribly inefficient power supply with like a low-end AMD system, you're not going to be making a ton of money here, especially if you have to pay for electricity. But if you end up building a system that's a little bit more optimized with maybe an Nvidia GPU and a gold certified power supply, you could potentially turn a decent profit here. Now to help ensure your system is always running, make sure you enable the auto start settings that Salad has built in and then set your idle timer to the lowest it can go, which is currently 10 minutes. Now those are the main ways to make money directly through Salad, but before ending this video, I want to quickly talk about GPU mining directly for cryptocurrency instead. Obviously a company like Salad needs to make a profit for themselves, so they're going to cut into your profits by a decent amount to keep them up and going. If you were to go the route of mining the cryptocurrency yourself, you not only have the benefit of not having a middleman, but you also retain the cryptocurrency and not the current USD value. And if you're a believer in, say, Bitcoin taking off, that could be a huge difference. Think about it. If you're currently mining Bitcoin with something like nice hash and you're only earning 50 cents per day, that 50 cents per day is based off of the current market value of Bitcoin. And if you think that Bitcoin is going to go like 10x or even like 100x, that 50 cents that you're making per day is actually like $5 per day or $50 per day that could be pretty baller. Obviously, I personally have no idea where the Bitcoin price is going to go. I do hope it goes sky high just for the record, but just make sure you calm your expectations with any sort of GPU mining here in 2020. I certainly don't think it's a good idea to go out and buy any new hardware for GPU mining right now, but if you have some extra PCs laying around or you want to make some money with your current gaming PC while it's not doing anything, then GPU mining or salad could be an option for you. Well, that's going to wrap up how to make a little extra money with your gaming PCs. As always, drop a comment down below about what you think of salad or just GPU mining mining in general. And after that, feel free to head on over to one of these two videos if you haven't seen them yet. Definitely hit the subscribe button and make sure you follow me over on twitch.tv slash Zach's Tech because we got some PC building and Forza action coming.